What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. New year, new iPhones. Let's go ahead and durability drop test Apple's latest creations. So the 13 Pro Max and 13 Pro are Apple's heaviest iPhones. 12 grams heavier, 15 grams heavier. And while Apple didn't make any claims about these being any more durable than their predecessors, which were actually very durable, they do claim Ceramic Shield is still the toughest glass on any smartphone out there. So we'll put that to the test with the new factor of being heavier, thicker, 0.26 millimeters thicker, still only ceramic shield on the front, not on the rear. We do have more protruding lenses, which have sapphire glass. There's that smaller notch and the 120 hertz display, which may or may not make a difference. And of course, stainless steel bands before Apple goes full titanium. And that's a future I can't wait for. So we've got a wild assortment here. I'm gonna be dropping the 6.1 and 6.7 Pros. Slightly new packaging, I like these new pull tabs. Apple's going full paper and there she is. So again, the gold is a bit muted and the 13 Pro Max in Sierra Blue, definitely lighter. Compared to the old one, I guess it's a little bit richer. That camera bump is what you notice pretty much right away. And yes, the lenses do protrude more. And as far as the blue, pairing that to deep navy, definitely much brighter. And lens on this one isn't shockingly bigger. I guess you're used to it if you're a Max owner. There's those new colors, similar to the AirPods Max Blue. So let's get these set up and get to dropping. Dang, that 120 hertz display is so silky smooth, wow. I've never seen lag like this on a new iPhone before. So yeah, the notch is smaller, 20% or so. Apple doesn't really do anything extra with it software wise. The 120 Hertz is probably the biggest upgrade here. Very silky smooth animations. So first impression is overall good. I like the smaller notch, better display, but not all too compelling of an upgrade if you have a 12 Pro already. So with the stainless steel band from waist height, starting with the 13 Pro Max, three, two, one. That makes a different sound. Three, two, one. Nice drops and to be expected, first drop, really not much to report. Not even scuffing, the stainless steel holds up very nicely. Back drop, here we go, Sierra Blue. Let's see if those protruding lenses make a difference. In three, two, one, survived. And the smaller 6.1, three, two, one. So nice pop and jump. You can tell that it absorbs the energy and spits it out very nicely. So the back, even though it doesn't have ceramic shield, it's good. Let's do the ceramic shield four times stronger than previous iPhones, such as the 11 Pro in three, two, one. Okay, so that's fine. And the SIM card tray on this one is popping out. Two, one. Other than the mute switch going off, really can't tell that it's been dropped. Still in flawless condition and the 13 Pro Max holding up nicely. Really well done, Apple. The way that the glass blends into the stainless steel band, it's made for drop resistance. It's interesting because they feel so familiar, but the weight makes them feel new. The old saying about weight making something feel premium, I think it's absolutely true. Three, two, one. Ooh. Brutish corner impact there and the 13 Pro in three, two, one. Wow, that's a lot of energy returned. Backs have survived. Front is good on the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. Got a good amount of concrete in there and that wipes right off. Man, that stainless steel is durable. It is scuffed. You can Feel it. Display has survived. Same with the 13 Pro. All is good here. Non-ceramic shield from head height. In three, two, one. Wow, I'm always amazed how they survive impacts like that. Seeing it right in front of you. Two, one. How? Refuses to break. Now this is generally smooth concrete. Dropping these outside from the same height, you will not get the same result. It's a pitted, but still fairly smooth. They still look really good. Ceramic shield, will you hold up with 12 extra grams on top of you? Three, two, one. Okay, nice clean impact. And the 13 Pro. Three, two, one. Oh, that one did it. 
screen still works. I can definitely feel the glass shards coming out. Sadly, the 13 Pro did not survive with the extra 15 grams. 13 Pro Max is okay. As always with tests like these, it's all about chance, how it falls. It's all relative. Cameras, so all is good here. And the front facing, working on both. Face ID, good. Promotion still working. And out comes the ladder, as high as we can get it, close to 10 feet. Beautiful Sierra Blue, about to hit the ground from 10 feet. In three, two, one. Nice, sideband shot. Those are usually really hard to do. And the 13 Pro Gold. So there's a science to how to drop this. Three, two, one which I failed terribly. <laughs> so that was more of a back impact, which did survive, considering it's not ceramic shield. It's very impressive. Okay, so this one made quite a bounce. No visible, oh, okay, so there is some visible deformation here, but you'd have to look very closely. It's amazing how strong this band is. It does get a little chewed up, but that just survived a 10 foot drop onto concrete. Front screen is fracturing, splintering more. Definitely can cut yourself with that. And for the Resilient 13 Pro Max, back shot in three, two, one. Look at that bounce. I'm telling you some serious ballistics go into designing these. In three, two, one. Ouch. So when it didn't bounce, you can tell all the energy just got absorbed by that glass. This one has to have survived. Yep. It just rejected all that energy. This one accepted it. And there you go. There's the result. Physics. Now this one is slightly bent. Got a little bit of a banana shape going on. It's warped. And a face ID working on both. Cameras. Yeah, I'm stunned that the uh, 13 Pro Max is doing so stellar. Got a huge bulge in the glass here. The MagSafe rings are threatening to come out. Gnarly damage, but let's keep going with the 13 Pro Max. One thing I'm surprised about is you can clearly see concrete gouged into the lens here, and those still held up. And the last fateful 10 foot drop. Let's see what happens to this very resilient 13 Pro Max. In three, two, one. No bounce, safe to assume it's cracked. Yeah straight in the middle and it just died. <laughs> that was new. Very beautiful spider web. It reset completely. That doesn't happen very often. The phone is also slightly warped. Yeah, we got a banana shape on this one too. Did restart. Let's see if face ID is working. Yep. Cameras all working. Front facing working. The back held up very nicely. Just for fun, let's see how many drops until the back does break. Two, one. <laughs> Just one extra. Yeah, the deed is done. Well done, Apple. Even though they're heavier, wouldn't say it makes much of an impact on the drop whatsoever. And just wanted to show you a quick preview of our upcoming Gen 3 cases for the iPhone 13, 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max. We definitely sleeked them out. Metal buttons are frosted and crystal. Now have this spillover design on the side. It actually looks Really cool. So reveal more of the color of your phone from the sides. And we're gonna go ahead and do a quick drop test and as well as the Flex Series, which we've been working on for quite some time, follow up to our open-sided design. We're gonna have this one out next month. Let's go ahead and see how they do in a drop test. So we'll start with the 13 Pro Max. This is our frosted Gen 3 case and uh, 10 feet. Let's do a side impact here in three, Two, one. And uh, flex series, exposed sides, still should be very durable. These do have the included screen protectors on them. Two, one, straight on its face. good. The Flex Series has the very aggressively raised corners and that one did a fantastic job protecting. Gen 3 here also just fine. Corner took the impact and these are pre-production samples. It's still holding up very nicely. All right let's do one more with the Gen 3 
in uh, three, two, one. And flex series. Three, two, one. One. Just fine. It's gonna take more than that to break these bad boys. Just fine. Took 14 years to get here, the 13 Pro Max, 13 Pro. Wonderful phones, very durable, held up nicely. Still, I would say, need a case until that titanium band iPhone is out. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.